So this is our lean group right here and you're going to see everybody's going to get up here and talk. We decided to go ahead and put a series of videos together, kind of going through the eight types of waste. And everybody in our lean group is uh, chartered with going out and finding or seeing an example of each type of waste. And the first type of waste we're going to go through this week is going to be what, Romy? The first type of uh, waste is uh, transportation. So as you're going to see, people are going to get up here and we're going to go ahead and give examples for you guys of uh, the transportation waste. So the transportation waste I saw was transferring uh, PDFs, drawings, from one server to another. Um, the reason was uh, Checker had to check some fabs. They were in a different uh, branch, so they had to transfer the files from one uh, server to the other. So the transportation waste I saw was in the parking lot. Uh, we had some of our shop guys moving paper, two or three bundles of paper on a pallet with a forklift, where that could have been delivered directly to the, the uh, storage room by the vendor. So that's my waste for the week, and we'll see if we can fix it. Okay, the waste transportation what I saw is transporting doc, uh, documents and information from big cars and annex, especially drafting team in the annex and fabrication team is in big cars. So every time we have meeting or communications, we have to transport things, a bunch of stuff between two buildings. The transportation waste I spotted or has been bugging me for a long time is the trans is the trucking loads going out of here. They're only half full of our unitized jobs to Southern California or, or farther. If a unit's only five feet wide, we're only, we're only able legally to put one row on there, so sitting right in the middle of the truck, might get two or three pallets as opposed to six or eight. So we're gonna put a hit team together hopefully later this year and try and solve that. It'll take us a year or so to get it done, but that's a big waste that we're spending time and money on and we need. Okay, the transportation waste that I found is receiving emails um, when you're copied. Uh, unnecessarily. Um, it tends to fill up your inbox and it's just an extra step that uh, you have to look for and uh, get rid of it as your mailbox fills up. So I think we need to bring up the awareness on that and hopefully eliminate that sort of waste. Hey, so I'm a guest speaker today in Steve's okay. class. So the one I was talking about was um, we have a lot of distance between our metal racks at Shop B and where we cut the metal and then where we assemble the metal. So moving that metal from the racks into where the saws go, and then from the saws over to assembly, there's a lot of transportation that goes on there. And by moving those things closer to each other, we can limit that uh, transportation. So that was my favorite. All right, so that was our first in our eight series of types of waste. That was transportation. Next week, we'll be working on inventory, so stay tuned. Thank you.